I'm Kathleen Singh, Creative Director and Owner of Sunny Kilogram. I'm going to show you how to customize the Tumblr audio player today. Let's get rolling. So I went ahead and uploaded an audio track to my blog and it's showing up here as a gray and rectangular audio player. I'm going to show you today how to change the color and the shape. To do both, you actually need to get into the HTML, but don't worry, it's not that scary. So let's get started and change the color first. Um, obviously, make sure you're logged in and navigate to the gear icon for settings. Choose the right block. I only have one, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, next to theme, hit customize. And on the next screen, hit edit HTML. Great, now we're in business. Now we're in the back end of the Tumblr block and the HTML, which controls um, what's presented. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and look for a block of code, which is this. All right, um, Tumblr actually gives us three color choices. They are gray, white, and black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, go back to my code and do a control F or command F if you're on a Mac for this little snippet. And here we go, audio player gray. We already know that it's gray, but now the code just confirms it. To change it to either white or black, it's really, really simple. Just replace the word gray with white or black. In my case, I'm gonna do black. Now I hit update preview, save it. Let's go back to my blog, refresh this, and voila, a black audio player. Pretty nifty, right? Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is change the shape of the player from rectangular to square. To do that, we're going to need some CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and they will control um, things like the color or the spacing on a web page. So I actually already wrote a little bit of CSS here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Let's scroll up in our code until you see this um, style, this um, slash style line. And right before that, we're going to paste in this code, okay? All it's saying is set audio wrap, whatever this is, um, set its width and height to 30. And what exactly is audio wrap? Well, you can think of it as a name or an identifier, because without this, the CSS wouldn't know where to set these properties. So let's go back, uh, let's search for our audio player again. I just want to show you because if you look, if you look at the code right before the audio player, you see this audio wrap. So that's how the CSS knows where to apply those properties. Okay, so now that we've added the CSS, let's hit update and save and go back to my blog, hit refresh, and there we go. We now have an audio player that's square and black. And that's how you customize the Tumblr audio player. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via my website, www.sunnykilogram.com. Until next time, see ya.